So in the previous segments, we, did, we discussed and outlined the geometry and physics that, that are uh, uh, participating in the concealment of a gun. With those in mind, I want to share a quick segment with you called Why Sidecar Holsters Don't Really Work. So we've been talking about the radius of the body, right? And here again is the belt, and the belt is going to be applying pressure this way. Uh, if we have, let's do this just for simplicity's sake. There's the body. If we have a magazine carrier here and a gun here, right? And there's a concealment wing on this side and a concealment wing on this side and the gun and the mag. What happens is you set up a circumstance in which as the rotational forces are applied here and here, they resist each other, right? So let's back it up even further. We have a fulcrum, right? We all know how a lever and a fulcrum works. We've got a, and our lever is here. If I'm pushing down on this side, obviously, this side wants to go up in the opposite direction. And the uh, more force, if the forces are balanced, then there's no leverage occurring, right? If I've got X force here and X force here, nothing changes about the lever. There needs to be a difference in those, either in the length of the lever from side to side or in the mass from side to side in order to get the lever to pivot on the fulcrum. Now, check this out. Let's take a sidecar holster, for example, right? We've got one side, the gun side, and then we've got the magazine side, right? This side is longer than this side. And what we just talked about is that in order to get one side to move of a lever, you either need to have a longer length or more mass. If I'm applying force here, I have a longer lever than what I have over here. So on the one hand, with the body in place and the belt in place, we're getting resistance over here. So you throw a big wing on the side of this over here with the, on the gun side of it, right? In order to try to drive the uh, gun into the body. And you apply a, a more force than you need to because it's being resisted by the magazine on this side, and what you generate is worse concealment because not only is the body resisting the uh, pressure of the belt and the wing, but the magazine on the other side is also resisting it because this part here becomes a fulcrum. Uh, and then uh, what happens, of course, is that since Kydex isn't really designed to do this and everything we make out of Kydex as holster makers is pushing the limits of what the material is designed for, uh, they break here. Uh, so the only way for these to work is for this portion here to be as flexible as possible uh, so you don't have the physics of the, of the uh, device working against themselves.